Hi everybody, I thought it'd be fun to make another video. I'm trying something different today. It's a French style Berlingot candy and uh, you'll see it a bit. It's basically a single color with white stripes uh, pulled into a humbug style cut. Uh, so this is sort of a small batch uh, I'm making today. The flavor is going to be pomegranate and so I'm trying sort of a reddish purple color and uh, with white stripes and we'll get to that here in just a second. Obviously again, I've sped it up just so you don't have to see all the boring parts. I use five cups of sugar, one cup of corn syrup, and one cup of water. Boil it out to about 300 degrees, and then I pour it out to cool, as you see here. Uh, the big puddle is going to be the major color, which again is sort of a purplish red color I was hoping for, for a pomegranate. And the other one will be uh, the white. Turns out I think I was a little over aggressive on the uh, coloring because they're a pretty dark uh, purple color and food coloring kind of got everywhere, but that's okay. Still turned out okay. I'm, I'm just uh, mixing the colors in mostly to boil off the water so the sugar doesn't wind up sticky in the end. I'm just uh, slowly pulling the puddles together. It gets cooler on the outside, so I slowly work them into the middle uh, so they get the same consistency and color. You'll see me change my gloves a few times here because it's hard to keep the color away from the white, and I want the white to be uh, bright. I could have just, uh, sometimes they just make it as one whole color and then they pull a little section uh, and eventually it will turn white if you pull it uh, long enough. But I decided to make the white as a separate small puddle, keep it bright. Now I've got my colors together. They've cooled down enough I can start pulling a little, especially on the white to get a nice bright white color. And what you see me reaching out to is my, uh, it's actually a pancake griddle, but I use it as a hot plate on uh, the lowest setting to kind of help keep things warm. Yeah, a lot of red color here, so kind of got everywhere. I've seen these made two different ways. One is just to make a, a white stripe along your color block and keep pulling it and cutting it and recombining it till you get a, a white stripe pattern. Or I actually like this technique where we're just sort of slowly putting uh, small white stripes back and forth across uh, the colored section. Works a little better, you get thinner stripes when you have a much bigger prep. But I'm here just working with a small uh, small batch here, about five cups or so. And we're gonna roll it together to make our candy that we can pull into uh, long uh, rolls or stretch out. And at this point now, the trick really is just to keep me at about the right temperature so it uh, pulls nicely and I can cut it. And you'll see me moving things back and forth onto the hot table trying to get that just right. Now this is the humbug style cut you're gonna see here. Basically I cut it once and then I turn it 90 degrees and I cut it again. And you get that sort of, uh, I don't know what it's called, that trapezoid kind of shape. There are machines to do this, humbug cutters, but since I don't have one, I'm kind of doing it by hand. Yeah, the color was too dark. This is almost a, it's a dark purple and I was kind of hoping for a reddish purple color. So next time I'll back that off a little bit. Normally we don't cut the candy when it's this warm, but to get that humbug shape, 
uh, and not crack it. And I had to cut it one, and you can still see it's a little bit droopy. Normally, we'd roll it out to a stiff, you know, kind of rod, and then when you cut it, you're actually cracking it. Um, this is actually a true cut. I guess I should have found some music or something for these dull parts, but oh well. A lot of times folks that make these kind of candies have two people, so one person's job it is basically to keep the candy round and warm at the right temperature and while the other person does the imaging or the prep work on it, and, but trying to make both work by, by uh, by myself here, but Getting time to the end of it here, and I was happy I uh, was able to keep my thumbs, didn't cut anything. <laughs> um, I made a pretty big batch, actually. Um, I got about uh, eight or so uh, uh, bags out of this, and you'll see here in just a sec. Does put a little bit of sharp edges on them, so I do like to roll them around a little bit and try to break off any edges. And here's what the final products look like, and all bagged up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that.